Let's talk about face masks. They're keeping us healthy and letting us pretend we're all the shredder. I'll get you, Ninja Turtles. Most people have gotten the message that even simple masks can slow the spread of coronavirus. In fact, in the US, a nice 69% of Americans are saying they now wear masks when they leave the house. But now, there's some new research that confirms just how effective a mask can actually be. And one of the best ways to protect yourself and others from getting COVID-19 is to wear a mask. A new study out of Hong Kong shows coronavirus transmission rates drop by 75% when surgical masks are used. Researchers used hamsters. Masks draped over the cages of infected hamsters dropped infection to 17%. Hamsters who still got infected despite having a mask barrier had less of the virus in their bodies compared to hamsters without masks. Yeah. According to this eye-opening and frankly adorable study, masks drop transmission rates of the coronavirus by 75%. And while this is a great study for public health, I think it's a huge missed opportunity for those scientists. I mean, why would you drape masks over the cage when you could have put tiny masks on the hamsters? I mean, that is Instagram gold. You know, for a bunch of virologists, you guys don't know shit about going viral. <laughs> Am I right? No one's here. So clearly, wearing masks is important. But that doesn't mean that it's easy. I mean, for one thing, unless you plan on butt-chugging all your meals, it really makes it impossible to eat or drink. Until now. As health officials are asking the public to wear face masks, a group of friends in Texas just developed a mask that makes it easy to drink through. Cordell had an epiphany when she had to take off her mask to take a sip of water. That's when she came up with the idea for Shut Your Mouth. The masks include a front zipper that allows people to more easily get a drink while they're out in public. The latest look in protective face masks have people saying, I'll drink to that. That's because it comes with a hole for a straw. An Israeli man created a protective face cover that allows you to eat food without removing your mask. You just squeeze a lever, which opens a slot for your mouth, so you can eat without removing the mask. What a great invention. Now we can all have lunch and nightmares. I mean, nothing gets my appetite going, like seeing my friends as ventriloquist dummies. <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why we needed that one with the zipper. Like, that already exists. I've got like three of those masks in my closet right now. Yeah, it's dusk masks. You know when you're like doing the garden and then you wanna say something? Yeah, I'll, I'll be done in 10 minutes. <laughs> now, even though most Americans are wearing masks, many still refuse. Yeah, and confrontations between maskers and anti-maskers have been going viral. And the latest one may be the best yet. You see, a Las Vegas Patriot tried to shame a Costco employee who told him that he needs to wear a mask in the store, and things did not exactly go the way he expected. A Costco employee in Las Vegas is being praised for standing his ground and denying a customer who refused to put on a mask. Hi, everyone. I work for Costco, and I'm asking this member to put on a mask because that is our company policy. So either wear the mask And or... I'm not doing it because I woke up in a free country. Have a great day. So you're gonna take this car from me. Sir, have a great Pull day. Stuff. You are no longer welcome here in our warehouse. You need to leave. Thank you very here, much. You put it on, I'll give you my card. He's gonna take the card away because he's a little bitch. There he is walking away with all my stuff. There he goes. Because I'm not a sheep. Woo! That Costco employee was not messing around. He was straight up like, sir, if you don't put on a mask, I'm gonna have to hand you a free sample of your own ass. And I truly don't understand this. This man was just being asked to wear a mask while he's in the store. That's not asking a lot. I mean, do you know what I would do for a bulk quantity of toilet paper right now? <sighs> do you know who I killed? I mean, who I would kill? And you know, these videos really give you a sense of how differently black and white people view struggle. When black people are turning on their cameras when they think they're about to get shot, White people are turning on their cameras to show the oppression of Costco store policies. They wouldn't let me take two. Like, even if you don't care about getting corona, this is not about you, right? Because your decision might affect other people. It's the same way you could say, I'm not a sheep, I'm free. I don't want a car with brakes. Yeah, but the rest of us don't want your free ass flying through our windshields. Now look, I do think there should be another solution to our mask debate other than viral shaming. 
Isn't there something else we can do instead of covering our faces? Well, luckily, Leo Devlin has the answer we need. Do you want to go outside but hate wearing a face mask? They're hard to put on. They get all up in your eyes and your breath smells like ass. Well, now you ain't got to worry about covering your face because Leo is on the case. Introducing the Leo Deblin Germ Blaster. Strap these suckers to your head and everybody's getting their germs blown back in their face. This works for all airborne illnesses, such as corona and even gonorrhea. Go back to where you came from, Sneeze. Now you might say, but Leo, I already have the corona. How do I stop my germs from hitting other people? Well, guess what? I got a solution for that too. Introducing the Leo Deblin Germ Sucker. Strap this baby to your gut, and all your germs get sucked away. Now I don't need to wear a face mask to enjoy a quiet walk outside. And if you're asking, is this FDA approved? Let me put it this way. The FDA is too busy to not approve it. The Leo Deblin Germ Blaster Sucker. It ain't but $85. You can get that from your mama. It's at 120 by the fairgrounds, next to Foot Locker. Wow, Leo, you did it again.